Food for Worms podcast is meant for adults, not kids. Content warnings will be found in your description. For the love of God. <laughs> well, we're off. What is your kink? Wrong answers only. What? What are you what talking are you, about? What are your kinks? We're wrong answers only. We're all going to die? <laughs> <laughs> so fatalism is your kink. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It could be. Hey, that's mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be there? <laughs> Wait. You're listening mm. to Food for Worms, uh, ladies mm. and gentlemen. Um, this is <laughs> DNI's new podcast. My name is Samuel David Sarver. My name is Darian. You don't get my last name. Washington. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> um, but we're two we're two homies that thought it was a great idea to start a podcast. This is our try. This is our third try. Third try <laughs> at uh, starting or during our first episode. So yeah, I'm, st- I'm stoked on that. <laughs> Um, do, do we want to let people know what happened to the first one? Or do, or do we want to leave it up to a mystery? Like, what stupid, dumb, the, dumb thing did they both do? I think, I think the first one, we felt a little bit too self-conscious. Mm-hmm. And then the second one, I royally just messed up in uh, in editing. Yeah, but... <laughs> and, no, no, and, and, and also, I think we just utterly just said fuck let, way too many times. That, that oh my God. Yeah, let, let's be really conscious it of that. It can be a sentence enhancer, yeah. but it doesn't need to to carry our, our it, in, entire conversation. It doesn't need to anchor down whole sentences. Like, it's, <laughs> like hey, like, I can just say, hey, how are you doing? Hey, how the F word are you doing, How sir? the fuck are you doing, Darian? Oh, man. <laughs> but this is our podcast, ladies and gentlemen, Food for Worms. We've been working uh, towards this for a grip now, mm-hmm. and it's official, D. Can you quantify a grip? A grip. A uh, couple months, three months, mm. three months, mm. I think we've yeah. been talking about it. Yeah. I mean, it's January now and yeah, probably October-ish. Is of it tw- only January? Tw- it feels so 2020. Long. I know, <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> it feels not so much. It's, it's like, oh, the new year. Okay, that was ages ago. <laughs> it's been two weeks. Been two, <laughs> two, weeks. <laughs> two weeks of New Year's and it still feels like 2020. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll get into that shit uh, a little bit later. Yeah. But um, Fresh hell, fresh hell 2021. Keep going. But uh, let's talk about why we wanted to start this thing. Hmm. I wanted to find a way. Yeah. Well, I've been always been really, really, really. <laughs> I just always wanted to be just talking with another cis hetero man for, for 30 to 45 minutes because I just, you know, I just feel like we need to have our voices heard. More well, and more. Well, and I just need to be able to talk to somebody <laughs> that isn't my wife and I don't. Okay, and first not, off, your I, wife is dope, so let's... No, I'm, I am... I am. No, you have to hear me out. I'm not saying that I don't like to talk to my wife. I'm saying she doesn't have to hear everything I have to fucking say, because I can talk her off at, like like beating a dead horse. Yeah. Like, like, oh, honey, I have anxiety and depression. No shit, honey. Yeah. <laughs> talk to somebody else. <laughs> and oh, I'm, no. I'm not saying Brooke's like that. She's, She's a sweetheart. She's, I'm just, I'm yeah. just saying, like... It, it can get old for anybody, and yeah. I'd rather just talk into the world and 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 try uh, to manifest some good in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, let's make something great out of maybe our shortcomings or just our random bullshit day that yeah, we're man. having. Whatever, you yeah. know. Yeah, man. One of the things I'm hoping that we do with this podcast is that we let people know and feel that they are not alone. That, right, right. And then um, while we're on a journey of exploration, while we learn different perspectives from different people that we get to talk to ourselves and the different. Uh, mm, just the fresh hells that happen every day that we that we gain something from it and that we hopefully find can find a silver lining. Yeah, silver, silver, yes, a silver. I almost said the f word in there, but you know I didn't have to. But we're yeah, doing so, good on that so far. Really I think good. we've got a couple, and I've got a couple s h i t s. What is that? Shit. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, man, my Christian sensibilities are being challenged right now, sir. Let me tell you right now. Well, um. <laughs> We're doing much better than we were earlier. This is great. This was um, good. But no, yeah, we're we're basically Darian and I came together collectively. We want to create a spot that people can not feel alone, and hopefully, if if people want to actually listen to us, bro out and hang, mm. you know, a community for others to oh, you know to calling it bro out. Yeah, I don't like using the word bro. I don't. Yeah. I don't know why I said that bro. No, no, bro like you, no, no, you are my bro. I called you bro nameth. That's fine. Mostly, uh, Bro Walsh. <laughs> Any, anybody named Bro, or I mean Joe. Um, nice, but but no, I don't know. I'm just stoked to be doing something. Yeah, I'm happy so, to be here too. Man. So thank, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for presenting this. I pre- presenting this idea to me. I wouldn't want to do this with anyone else but you. And that means a lot. Yeah, man. Um, how do we meet? How did we meet? 
It's, it's, I, been, it's been at least 17 years. I, it, it started out as rumors because I, <laughs> I, went, I went to high school with people that went to middle school with you. Mm-hmm. We're both from central Minnesota. You've heard of St. Cloud. We don't have to get into what, okay. you, what you think of St. Cloud. It's, it's okay. okay. <laughs> That's a great blanket statement yep. of all of St. Cloud. We'll mm-hmm. go with that. And, but I, it was all just stories of Darian. And, mm. uh, you know, I just knew everybody. I was in high school, and I heard of you that you went to middle school with all of them. And then monster. we ran – first time I remember meeting you was at the uh, mall because mm. we were both mall rats, hung out there, whatever. Mm-hmm. And both I was at Zoomies. I was, uh, we did at, uh, later on mm-hmm. um, after we did our sandis, sandwich artistry. Yeah. Um, that was fun. But But I just remember, you know, I'm a big personality, you're a big personality, and then it just – ended up being a big uh brother hug mm-hmm. and like you just hug like a big bear and Which it's is like, like oh i i love it it's mm. great yeah you say that i'm a walking bear hug and it's funny because i don't like touching anyone i don't like being touched so it's it's interesting that i think it's just because i force <laughs> you to hug me <laughs> and then i'm just like he likes it, he right? likes it. I'm, I'm, I'm like i'm giving you a hug because i love you but mostly it's because like hey like if we could be doing anything else i'm a little too close for comfort <laughs> Usually. To everybody, always. Yeah, I, this, what I love about Sam is that he's one of the few people on this planet Earth, and also this planet of existence, that can just, like, I'll be sitting there, mind my own business, and then all of a sudden he'll just sit down. He'll be at a comfortable distance from me, whatever. We don't, just don't need to be on top of each other. And then he'll just wait until it's, like, the the odd moment, and he'll just throw his hand on my shoulder. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and and the, and and then it's it's all whimsy, it's all love, man. Um, yeah, Sam. I don't. Again, like I said earlier, I do not recall exactly where I met you, but I know it was at the Java joint during the fuck during our during P- our punk, days, punk rock the days, punk rock punk days. Shows. Yeah, man. When I and like when, like when we were all trying our best and our hardest, um, <laughs> and just trying to get into that scene and just be there and just get in because like I, I'm drinking coffee because it's cool. Yeah, and... drinking Jones soda, Fufu Bear to be specific. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious and a good time. It was in so much music, like Java Joint and and Cheap Thrills are two places that were like gave me the path for the music that I listen to now. Right. Like like. First time I ever heard like decent hardcore thrash metal was at the Java Joint because as Blood Runs Black was playing and for some reason I end up there with like Bobby Albertson, wherever the fuck he's been. And <laughs> sorry, I'm going off on a rant, but it was just oh, like, hey, Bobby. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> and then at one point I looked up and I realized like I looked up and I was in your car at some point. Well, because we used to cruise mm-hmm. and I had Mick I had Millens. an old McMillan's get coffee mm-hmm. late night. Um, I had the Volkswagen Delta 88 was my was my first car, and oh. that's what we would cruise around, listen to Atmosphere, <laughs> Brother Ali, mm-hmm. um, probably a little bit of Bad Religion, yep. um, and Rancid. Yep. But you're all bad. <laughs> but that was the car with the car phone, and we'd, <laughs> we'd cruise around with that and a megaphone, yep. and and try and act pretty cool. No, yeah, uh, but I don't know if tight. I. Yeah. Uh, if I was, but yeah, that was my first car, yep. and uh, I mean, that's when we really started hanging out. Was mm. was cruising around in that would be like what sophomore year of high school. Yeah, we didn't go to high school together, but we lived, you know, our lives collided. Yeah, I went to high school with Darian for a day. Yeah, and then I, yeah, no, you were there, and then I got to school late, and then I saw you <laughs> being driven away by your mother, being like, "Hey, why is Sam here?" Because he just <laughs> decided to go to school yeah, with you, us you said, today. Yeah, you made it like third period, right? Before a teacher was like, who the fuck? Yeah, I, I, I was in like a, a study hall. And then the guy, I, I was just chatting with people. I don't know who I was with in the study hall. Yeah. Because people were just like, yeah, I'll take Sam to my class, I guess. Mm. But I went to a homeroom. They didn't notice shit. I don't know how the, the homeroom teacher didn't That's know amazing. that I was in school. But yeah, then I eventually, I don't know who you're, I don't remember the principal's name. But they, they... I just think it's rad to be able to say I got sent home from, like, not my high school. Yeah. But it was a school day. Yeah, my mom <laughs> my mom came and picked me up. She was pissed, man. Yeah. Like, my mom's pretty chill, but, like, she she was definitely upset that she had to leave and pick me up at a school she's not used to going to. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, why the fuck am I at Jesus. Yeah, man. Um, but through that, we have become uh, bigger, stronger, badder friends, uh, both. Uh, I mean, you're an uncle of my of my child yeah man you yeah. know like you're you're fam yeah, and man. it I, what that's 16 years later mm-hmm. and we're still like homies and feels longer wow that's that's so nice is it 
I mean, or did you mean it in a shitty way? Hey, let's not dwell on that. But yeah, no, it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, uh, it's been. Yeah, now we're in our in our uh, early early thirties. Yeah, time is a flat circle. Not living when, in the when hometown you, when you love your friends. <laughs> and yeah, we, yeah, we've been down in Minneapolis for I've been here for about ten or eleven years. You've been here about eight. Eight. Yep. And, it'll, it it is eight this coming April. Yeah, man. So yeah, I just remember I was down here for a few years. I was doing my own thing. I still see Sam sometimes, and then one day this dude just calls me. Hey, me, Brooke, <laughs> Tony, Paul, Pete. Pete, Paul, we're all moving into a three bedroom over in Columbia Heights. <laughs> three bedroom for five people. <laughs> and I was just like, what? Two of which don't like cats, and I've got cats, and that was not a. It was it was a, it was an all right house to yeah. live in. It but, was, yeah, it was but, beautiful. But, but yeah, you. I called you up, surprised you, and mm. just like, yo, I'm I'm here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and, I was like, and you're like, I'm gonna show you how to get lost in the city. So mm-hmm. we just went and got lost, and that's like. I don't know. We definitely got closer once. We've always been close, but we definitely got closer once I once I moved in closer proximity. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah. I'm just very grateful that we we've been able to be friends. Like you've called me out when I was being a good friend, and I was like, I'll do better, and then I did better, and we became stronger. Oh, that's you know? so hot. Ebony and Ivory, back at it, man. Let me tell you. Ebony and Ivory. Yeah. Are we like Michael and Paul? Isn't that who sings that? Or no, is it Stevie Wonder and Paul? The fuck are you talking about? I don't about? know. Who sings Ebony and Ivory? I have no idea. Ebony and Ivory. No? You don't know that shit? No, and I feel like you, I don't feel like that's a real song. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like it's it's either Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney or Stevie Wonder and Paul McCartney. But I'm maybe I'm off. I think maybe you are. I think that you're bullshitting me, but maybe <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, man. No, it's been. Uh, we are strong friends. You, you, my peoples. And then we decided, as two cis hetero men, that we want to have our voices be heard on a podcast and and try and bring some light into the world or find some light in this world. Well, because we got our own weird shit, mm-hmm. and it's important. Like, it's always helpful, or maybe not helpful. I don't want to say like I benefit from other people going through things mm. but like people hearing where i'm coming from where you're coming from and then like maybe if we get feedback from other people or people coming into the room and chatting with us like or, it's always just good or safely to hear. from their own homes <laughs> right right yeah doing them zoom calls whatever mm-hmm. um but it's always nice to hear a different perspective mm-hmm. or hear what someone else is going through because you like i haven't been through everything you have been through and mm-hmm. vice versa it's it's always nice to just find common ground and relate on something whether yeah. it's shit you're going through yeah. or just or, life in yeah. general or relate on nothing and just getting a new perspective <laughs> well right <laughs> Cause, cause, no no because sometimes like you said sometimes your lives some, sometimes your lived experiences are entirely different top down right besides like you know being alive and going to work and doing all the regular shit that we all have to do um woo yeah <laughs> no, oh god now we clipped great uh, i clipped <laughs> sorry guys i got stoked about going to work <laughs> no yeah, I, what, what do you do what do, I'm a mailman. Mm. Um, I deliver US mail. Postal mail service in, worker uh, swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we had a pretty gnarly year this year yeah. for the presidential campaigns. Mm. Um, I give it up for everybody that sent in uh, mail and ballots, and that's all I have to say about the post office. Yeah, that's all you can say. You <laughs> yeah. should say. I'm, I'm stoked. Thank. Keep buying stamps <laughs> and uh, stop complaining because they've only gone up five cents in like ten years. Yeah. So, peace. Yeah, these fucking stamp collectors, man, y'all. <laughs> I don't understand it, but you know, people click Pokemon. I've got cards, some Elvis ones cards. from the nineties. My yes, aunt Elvis gave ones from the nineties that his aunt gave him. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am an industry person. I'm not necessarily a veteran, but I've been doing it for a little while. I mean, you've definitely got a, a, a cool uh foot in the door. It's as it, as a as a as what you do professionally. It has been a fun it's been fun, it's been enlightening, it has been a goddamn privilege. And um, uh, still working it. Uh, industry is shut down, so <laughs> right. I'm very, very fortunate and very grateful for the crew and people that I work with. Shout out Rhyme Sayers, and we are we're chugging along, trying to do better, trying to get bigger. And yeah, man. And uh, yeah, yeah. And now I'm delivering pizzas, also just so <laughs> just to make some extra money and check it. <laughs> well, so. and like tonight, tonight, like D works for a local pizza shop, and D comes here, <laughs> and we and like. Literally, pizza just got in the door. Yeah, I was, we I was ordered like, it from somewhere else, listen, and my, was, wife, my wife's like, "D, I'm, I know you're eating pizza all the time." 
<laughs> but would you like to have dinner like, with Brooke, us? Brooke, you are perfect. You can, you can literally do it wrong. If I walked in here and Sam did this to me, I'd be like, Sam, how fucking dare you? I know, look I know. Me look at me. I'm do a... you think I want pizza again? It's been 87 years. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was good. No, it's really funny. I pulled up. I was like, I was brought here under false pretenses. I thought we were going to have chili. Yeah, I thought we were too. Yeah. But um, pizza's just as good. Or maybe, I don't know. Pizza isn't chili. Yeah, but, but regardless, it'd be weird I if it was I anything want, like want, chili. I don't want my shitty tone and attitude to make it think that I'm not grateful to be given free food and have and break bread with my friends and my family. I know that it sounds like I have an attitude, and I know that it's hard for you to pick up on it. It's not. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very grateful for you, and I'm a piece of shit for talking to you like this. Yeah, it's my birthday, motherfucker. Yeah, it is your birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday, and I'm coming at you. <laughs> I bought. About I got me. you some pizza. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to make you feel, dude. This guy shows up at my house last week mm-hmm. with fucking tiramisu. I love tiramisu. <laughs> And he just, oh, that was so good. Yeah. I ate at least half of that after you went home. <laughs> I, I tore that shit up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm getting older, which is pretty rad. Yeah, How does it feel to be like the big three two? Three two. It's um, you know, I've been telling you, like as we've been going along, starting this whole thing, like my thirties are fucking rad. Mm-hmm. I love being a dad. I love being a husband. I love working on my shit around my house. Like you're always like, dude, like. I know I'm a hermit, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like, or you're not like that. I, I am yeah. but like, I know I, I, I'm just, I, I feel comfortable being at home mm-hmm. doing my thing and I'm just a little bit more content and that's because of, you know, life changes I've made, whatever, mm-hmm. but like my back definitely gets more sore. <laughs> like I was definitely, I was going to do some yoga today. I mm-hmm. called into work because my back was sore and we were going to do this and I, I didn't want to be out of shape because of being, you know, stuck doing my thing all day, whatever. But like, I was going to do some yoga. I didn't. I took a nap <laughs> and then my back was better. Yeah, so, it was. so, it, so it was a, it was a good day off and, and I'm happy to be here with you yeah, and my yeah, back's man. feeling great. Yeah, man. You've had the glow up of the century. I know I said this shit earlier, but it's like, Sam, like you used to just be a stinky little guy. <laughs> you're, a st- you're a stink boy and it's not and there's not a bad thing it's all really endearing you're a great wonderful person whom i have loved for years sometimes your ass just a little crusty and there's nothing wrong with that that's a different part of our lives we're past it and you've had the glow up of the century <laughs> just gonna say that right now like, you just you look great <laughs> so so fucking hey man just shout out to you for just existing and being a part of my life but well, also shout out to you for just being like yo <laughs> 50 years ago i, I <laughs> here's how gross i used to be folks like people would know i was in their home before they, <laughs> they saw, saw me. me they didn't have to see my shoes they didn't have to see my coat they knew because of the smell at the door yep. that i was at their house but like i found a pair of sneakers mm. vans in a dumpster behind the uh, the Saint Cloud Electric Fetus. Oh, that's a that's a music. And the Euro uh, spot was next door to it. Yeah, yeah. I found them in the dumpster, and I wore them for another year and a half to mm-hmm. two years. And they had holes in them when I got them. That's how I used to live my life. I still am a little gross. Glow up of the century. <laughs> <laughs> and Darian has looked. <laughs> Uh, amazing. That's his, not his, true. I, listen, he, listen, listen. He, I hates, have he hates it when I give him compliments and tell him how gorgeous he is. But he's a damn, damn sexy. I appreciate that. I know black that, man. I know that in my thank you. <laughs> Thanks, but I, I, I know that uh, if you know you look at me the right angle, I'm objectively handsome. That's fine. I, <laughs> <laughs> but most right angle <laughs> shit. But the, <laughs> I, I am handsome from afar. Uh, but the. Uh, <laughs> And now we're here and we're, we're going on this new journey together. Um, what are we, what are some of the things we're going to be discussing on this podcast? Cause I mean, I, I, I just want to, I mean, I don't know specifically cause sometimes I just want to bullshit about music, mm-hmm. but cause I mean, that's what brings you and I together. That's mm-hmm. what we usually talk about is music, mm-hmm. fucking movies, uh, television shows we're watching. And you know, I want to learn about that type of stuff with you Mm -hmm. and i i also just want it to be a place this podcast where i can just speak honestly talk talk whatever's on my mind Mm -hmm. whether it's you know oh i'm down um in in the dumps i don't know what to do with myself d what should i do or what 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 have you been going through you know stuff Mm -hmm. like just i want to be able to be honest Mm -hmm. you know that's that's my thing yeah we're gonna be here we're gonna be honest with each other 
Um, I'm, I'm hoping to do that too. I'm, I'm, I, I have this, this confidence that people, I, people think that I have this confidence. Listen, I am usually second guessing literally every human interaction and I'm just trying to do my best. And some people think that that makes me kind of, it doesn't matter. I'm trying my best. <laughs> and, um, and, and one of the things that I'm hoping to get with this is that I'm able to come out of my shell a little bit more because, um, especially with you, because you and I, we, we we sh- we hold space for each other. Yeah, and that's a it's a beautiful thing that we're able to do over sixteen years of friendship and everything. Um, but then while we're gaining, trying to look for these new perspectives and be more comfortable with having by by sharing my life with other people, and then also have and then also hopefully them being willing to share theirs with us, so that right. we, so that we can all learn from each other. Well, and like in this day and age, isn't it kind of easier just to like throw shit out there? into the world where maybe it's not people that know you, you know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. kind of like what we're doing with this podcast is like, like you're saying, learning how to be able to talk about those things Mm -hmm. because it, it's going to go out there and it's, it's, it's you and I right now, Yeah, man. you know, like as long as we're, as long as we're honest with ourselves, with you and I, I mean, I just want to come off, come off genuine and, uh, yeah, we're going to be holding each other. That's, that's hopefully what we, you know, yeah. can can make of this hopefully. Now, now with I'm that being so. said, we are not professionals. <laughs> no, no, we no. are not therapists. <laughs> We're not. I shouldn't. am a fucking moron. Okay, that is not true. You're, you're just not. You're not a moron. However, <laughs> we are not professionals in that. We're we're not gonna. No one should be listening to anything that we're saying. Uh, no, like, don't take anything. Uh, like like I'm a doctor. We're not or we're, yeah. or, or any we're not, type of professional. We're, we whatsoever. are always going to be making sure that we are going to be respectful and thoughtful and intentional about the things that we project onto all of you because we're just whether it's something serious or complete nonsense. Yeah. Because because I, I I I want you to know, folks. Like we can get pretty damn lowbrow, <laughs> or or I can. You can. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I no, listen. I am totally capable uh, like, of going low. Like, but like, 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 I think Darian. <laughs> you know, I gave you the glide. Like, I oh, think he had a little bit yourself. higher expectations, and I'm just like, no, I'm gonna shoot low. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll definitely talk about your stuff. Your, I'm, I'm pointing at Darian's dick. But, mm, but that's nothing. But okay. Please continue your thought. Please jump live. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know no, where no, I was no, going no, with no, that. No, I just no, I got I mean, distracted cool. with your penis. We're, we're not going to be yes ending out of that fucking sentence that <laughs> you just put everyone's fucking through. God damn it. <laughs> we're not talking about my junk. Okay, we won't. I'm sorry. What's his name? Does did you name him? I don't have a name for my penis. Then why the, and I've realized Then don't project that onto me. <laughs> but I just want do you? And then he turns his head and looks at me. Since this is an audio medium, he said that, and then he turns his head, makes these little pouty eyes at me, and I almost want to throw something plugged in at him, knowing that it's heavy, so it's fine. My head can take it. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, That's so legit. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be, we're going to have some fun disclaimers onto this, just being clear about what our intentions are. And with, also, with all that being said, like we're also using this as an opportunity to educate ourselves on things that we're not we're not too familiar on so that we can speak about them, not necessarily as an authority, but just so that we're not um, spreading misinformation and that we are, um, we just want to be respectful. It and- all comes from places like from where, what we are going through. Mm-hmm. If we're trying to figure something out, I want to go through it with you. And mm-hmm. I, I like to talk through things. Mm-hmm. I'm not. And, and, and then I'll try to figure out what I need to do. So do, do what you know what I'm so, saying? So now that we've gotten to this point, what you've all heard is that this is going to be a podcast of Sam trying to figure stuff out and Darian trying to figure it out with him. Oh, is that what it's about? Yep. Is it really? No, it's not. Oh, but oh, okay. <laughs> this is going to be 45 minutes. You're not going to get back because they're ours now. <laughs> they're ours. This is our time. <laughs> no, no, this is our time recording but when the people listen look at me look at me are we trying to make dead look air at, look, look at me what i'm the captain now you- <laughs> i'm the captain now. his face <laughs> that he just made at me was so scary Terrifying. what have you been listening to lately um i have i'm always i've always got a hip hop album that i have going on mm-hmm. which has been lately i've been listening to a lot of run the jewels mm. which i think i came into that whole game a little bit late hey sam hey sam what's up d which one 
Which one? Uh, four. <laughs> good, good answer. <laughs> Such a good album. <laughs> Run the Jewels four. Um, and I don't even know if I know. I I haven't dove into all of like the older stuff. I know some of the songs, but like I don't know. So I've been listening to a lot of them lately, mm-hmm. and then um, some Eddie Cochran, which I don't like. That's extremely like old, old, old school rock yeah, and you're, roll. You are a vinyl head. Yeah, I mean, we're sitting in a room with like fourteen hundred records or something, and you forget things that you have on it's vinyl from time to time yeah. but i mean i don't know i'm anywhere from jazz to to hip-hop to punk rock i mean was a huge part of my life so mm-hmm. i mean but it all depends on what i'm doing at yeah, work man. it's usually hip-hop uh, like gangster rap or fucking <laughs> or or some so like so, or like some oldies <laughs> temptations and and smoky robinson type so of you're shit sitting there, you're like die motherfucker die motherfucker you're looking, you're looking through the thing you're like mm. Because, I mean, I grew up with classic rock and and blues, and then the first album that I ever got that wasn't my dad's music mm-hmm. or my mom's music was Weird Al, Bad Hair Day. And then from oh, there, Jesus. the the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the two albums that I purchased after that, like for myself, first music I ever got into myself was Beck, Odelay, and Beastie Boys, uh, License to Ill. So, I mean, that's to tell you where my shit originates from like musically wise or like, but like you come from a different fram- family than me obviously but like what where i wonder but, what differences those were but, <laughs> but like no like what music were you raised on or like what have you been listening to oh what i've listened to lately um and then tell me what you what you were came up on lately i've been listening to a band called the marmosettes they are a british hardcore hunky band i saw them at uh warp tour one year and then kind of followed them around they they were fucking dope again i swore oh no we need a beat button that'd be fun um a i grew beep. up i grew up listening to whatever my mom was listening to like i didn't really have a music taste um with the exception of like listening to like some of the more popular stuff that was uh like, hot at the like time. radio top 40 yeah okay my um my um that ass, I was really into like the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and shit. Like, but it, that but, was like everybody back then, you know, right? But, but yeah, but like, so like I'm like eight, eight, maybe seven, eight or nine, whatever. And then I was like, oh man, Backstreet's back. All, All right. right. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, and like for like pop music, I yeah. like, I. The, the stuff I was into at that time and when mm-hmm. everybody was into that was like Green Day. Yeah. It, again, didn't know. What, listen, I was in eighth grade. The bus driver was like, he was playing Green Day because I was in some after school program and then he would take us home afterwards. So it just, it'd just be me and three other kids on this big ass bus. <laughs> okay. And he just played whatever he wanted. So one day he was playing Green Day and I was just like, what is, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you've never heard Green Day? I was like, as I am 12 years old. Sorry, African American <laughs> male. <laughs> what was, but what was your mom into? My mom was really into like Sade and gospel music, and um, I got a couple of Sade. I I've seen them, and oh, that's okay. really dope. Hell yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, she was really into Sade, uh, just Whitney Houston R and B, just singing her ass off. My mom, she sung a lot when as I was growing up. And well, you've always been a good singer. It's a thing that I'm able to do sometimes when I practice at it. Um. Thank you for that compliment. I'm gonna also this podcast is going to be a, a a dissertation on like how Darian should learn how to take a fucking compliment. You know how because sometimes it feels good to have them and to, <laughs> and to hold them. Um, but yeah, no, uh, gospel. And then it, I got older, and then one time my uncle was playing Tekken two or three on the P on the on the PlayStation, uh-huh. and he just started playing a little little ditty called. Uh, Marshall Matters LP. Ooh, <laughs> good call. And yeah. I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm like, hey, uncle, this dude is talking about he's gonna kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's in his trunk? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? And like, while I didn't internalize it, I was like, this guy's rapping. He's rapping about all these other things. And then that, that's how I learned Eminem. And like, and I heard and listened to rap and everything, but it was just wasn't what we were listening to all the time. And then I got older and then I became to get my own music taste. And then I, uh, then I slowly got into rock and roll and a lot of the rock and roll I, I got into was totally because of like those like night those nineties late night TV infomercials for like the greatest hits. Oh really? Yeah. Like I'm telling you, like there, I, I knew, so many like Judas Priest 
and LCD sound system snippets. <laughs> okay, just like just like they would like or like meatloaf or like oh, you're the women in my life. You're the inspiration. <laughs> that that shit. But because like they was like yeah, l- listen to these songs from the seventies. No no no. Oh yeah, this is what I love. And they go to the next song, and I knew all these songs going down the line. Okay. Had no idea. I was like, I was like sitting up there. It's ninety. It's nineteen ninety six. I'm just or nineteen ninety seven. I'm waiting for tsunami to start because right. <laughs> so I can watch Space Ghost and the commercials are on. And then like even ACDC. And then I got older. And then I, be, I got my own music taste. And like all these songs that have just been famous longer than I've been alive. I'm like, oh, I know this one. Right. Kind of. Oh, there's a whole other part to this song. And those. <laughs> well, that's that's the, like the thing with like popular music today Mm because like you said like i have a bunch of records and so like a large amount of everything i listen to is either from like a homie Mm -hmm. gets me into something or it's random old shit i'm getting into at a record store you know like that's how i got into jazz or like a lot of old school r&b or motown stuff you know so it's like i i i I go more towards shit that's 50 60 years old now Mm -hmm. and that's the music that's like new to me yeah whereas everybody's getting into you know whatever's going on which i always feel lost in that Mm -hmm. besides like you know maybe our own little local scene or like maybe an underground like punk rock you know spot or whatever um but yeah i mean for the most part i'm I'm keeping it pretty old school yeah like 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 90s 90s hip-hop and uh you know 80s 90s punk rock and a bunch of fucking old people singing shit like (laughs) like roy orbison man dude was a suave suave singer had an (laughs) amazing voice check out his face not a good looking man (laughs) he was hard to look at (laughs) oh but he was easy he he, he just wore (laughs) enormous glasses big smile and like i don't know sometimes that's all you need like you look like silly putty you need some oh Oh wow! <laughs> oh man, with the wig like that, that, that stopped me mid sentence, man. <laughs> I was like, oh no. But yeah, I mean, no, my, my music, my music taste has always been really eclectic. And then it took me getting older to realize, like, oh, these are actually full on songs. And then I discovered, uh, then I discovered punk with you at Java Joint, yeah. Uh, then rock and roll, and then right into metal. And then it didn't really get into like hip hop, like in earnest. Like I listened to, I listened to like the top forty stuff, growing right? Up, but, but getting into it in earnest, I didn't get into it until like well after high school, right? Like my first atmosphere song, I was sitting in the back of my friend's Bonneville, right? And then yeah, Cody, Cody raps <laughs> the woman with the tattooed hands at me, acapella it in your face, in my face. <laughs> I'm like, first off, interesting, <laughs> <laughs> but I this isn't you because he didn't tell me that he didn't tell me that it was an atmosphere song. He's like, hey, can I? Can I can, can I play you this can thing? I play a song? I was like, no, wait, wait. I'm gonna rap it at you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then not, not only did I know, like, like almost 15 years ago, maybe longer, that if I'd known that the first time I was gonna get rapped at was gonna be in the back of Bonneville, only for that to be my job, to, for that to happen to me later on in life. Right. Like, like oh. those guys are directly in your 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 family and like it, like your family of like career wise. Yeah, you know, like so. in your crew. You know. Yeah, but it's it's just funny. So, yeah, man, music is a beautiful thing, and and it's it's definitely connected us because there's so much just. Just shows Bogo, uh, Bobo Gordello. That's not Bogo. Fucking, yeah, Bogo. <laughs> yeah, Oingo. Yeah, is it Oingo Boingo? Is that Oingo, the, <laughs> No, that's Danny. Danny, Danny Elfman. Danny Elfman. No, it's uh, yeah. Bo- Gogo Bordello. Yeah, it was one of the, it was one of the concerts you and I went to, where like again, like we you moved here, but then we kind of just we did our own thing for a little bit, and then me, you, Brooke, homegirl, and her and her boyfriend who was. From Yugoslavia, I don't know, but we end up. <laughs> I don't even remember who that is. It, me either. I but, I but, passed out on a floor that night. I think. Yeah, pretty much, but, pretty but sure. beforehand we were dancing our asses off the Gogo Bordello, and that's <laughs> that's one of the best live shows you. Oh I've seen him a God. few times, and and especially because that was like an outside show, right? Yeah, was, like in a parking lot. Yeah, it was um, over at the uh, the joint next yeah, to Caboose. the Caboose. Yeah, yeah. It, but like I've seen him inside probably like four times, and like mm. twice outside. Like they're a band you gotta see they are when a yummy it's just band. like outside. And um, you know everybody's getting sweaty under the sun or or, or whatever. I yeah, mean, man. I don't know. It's always a fantastic time. Yeah, man. But in this we're, gonna, we're gonna, like the topics are going to be kind of widespread, like between like what the the things that we that we are interested in talking about. Um, some topics will be about like, hey, that remember that one time, the only time we were like, you made anybody wear pants is at your wedding. But. No, no, no! Listen, listen! Your entire life has been no. Let me finish. I want to. I want to see you wear shorts to a wedding. Let me finish and see and see 
Listen. How people it, react. Yeah, listen, listen. <laughs> we have been kicking it for near 20 years. Dead space. Dead space. And you, <laughs> and, he, and it's your wedding, quote unquote, and then you make me wear pants. Pants, okay, have, never, pants have never been mandatory for anything Sam Star related except your wedding. Now, do I sound like an indignant asshole? Maybe I do. And I think I am too. And this has all been a bit. And I apologize for talking shit. Man, it was a beautiful wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, folks, um, I hope that you guys you know, might, might, might find this to be like a rad place to come to and hang out with us whenever we're, you know, talking and whenever we're putting out these episodes, we're, we're going to try to do it once a week or no, we are going to do it once a week. Right. D. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's going to get better as we go on mm-hmm. and, and we're going to have a bunch of fucking fun and, uh, try to say, you know, cool things about cool stuff and and try and swear less. Yeah, I mean, this was way better than attempt number two. Oh attempt number two was was way too much. We have to like, we have to find the knob in our heads and just turn it off. Being like we we, have we to... did much better. Yeah. We did we did much better, yeah. folks. And 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 um, I'm stoked to be doing this with you, Darian. Yeah, I love you. I love you too. And you're my brother. Okay, no, I, no, no, no. Don't look at me funny. I, you are also my brother. I love you. This has been Food for Worms. Peace. Food for Worms podcast is a Kiss Kiss Gang Gang production. It is recorded and mixed by Sam Sarver. Executive producers are Darian Washington and Sam Sarver. Theme music is Muffins by Dresden the Flamingo. Check us out at Food for Worms Podcast on Instagram, Food for Worms Pod on Twitter. And if you have any stupid questions or suggestions of things you want to hear us chat about or just tell us that we suck or whatever, hit us up at uh, Food for Worms Podcast at gmail.com. We are waiting. We're waiting for you. Please come. Listen. Oh, God. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. <laughs>